Hey everybody, it's Major League Cats here. I wanted to thank somebody out there. So, I have a little package unboxing. Um, one of the guys that I follow on YouTube, Sean Stay Fitted Reviews. I'll provide his link down at the bottom. Sorry if I said it wrong, Sean, but I'm going to provide your link down at the bottom. But this guy, he does some great hat reviews as well. He does multiple sports. He'll do a baseball review, he'll do a basketball review, he'll do a football review on hats. So if you're not watching his videos yet, I would go over, check out his channel, hit him, subscribe. He's a, he's a cool guy. Um, I've been watching his videos since I started doing YouTube, you know, to get ideas. And since I've been watching his videos, I just seem to like more and more what he does. Uh, he tries to get more of the, I won't say offbeat hats, but he does get interesting hats that you may not have ever known about and so he brings attention to those hats and some of those hats are really cool so he'll give you like some inspiration about maybe what kind of different hats are out there that you probably didn't even know were out there uh, or you just never really thought of and he'll bring to light those hats maybe to get you, you know thinking hey I like that hat that Sean's looking at maybe I should go pick that up so I'm gonna provide his link in the bottom the reason why I'm talking about Sean so much in this particular video is that he recently had a contest uh, for a couple of wireless earbuds and I asked him to put my name in the uh, in the drawing I guess you say in, for the uh, earbuds and I won and so I wanted to do an unpackaging of those earbuds and also to take the time to thank him because I think it's just really cool that he's able to do that so like I said without further ado let's check out the earbuds. So I already got my scissors. They came in the mail a couple days ago. Uh, I just went and picked them up. I don't go to the PO box every day, so it took me a minute to get over there. All right, so got a. Uh, looks like they're Worth earbuds. W i r i t h. All right, comes in a nice little simple brown little box. Look at that. Okay. So uh, let's uh, open up this little box. I might want to keep this box. I don't know. I don't want to destroy it too bad. We'll see. All right. Uh, maybe. Look at this. Oh, it comes in a nice little case. Look at that little Worth uh, ear pod case. Little zipper case. These earbuds are nice. They're black. They have some red accent around the buttons and the earlobes. Um, so I am going to charge these up. They are wireless, so they have a, a charger on them. And then I will be uh, trying them on. They look really good. Uh, they, they, let me see how they fit. Oh yeah, they fit pretty comfortable. So of course, you know, I'd probably put this part in the back because I mean, a lot of people that wear wireless uh, earbuds usually put this part in the back but they fit comfortable on the ears. Um, so you don't even really notice them. So thanks Sean for the earbuds. These things are awesome. Um, I'm gonna charge them up and then I'm gonna Bluetooth connect them on to my devices, uh, which I'll probably use it for the computer. They provide a nice little case to put them back in, in and I'll fix the case in just a minute. So thanks Sean again. I'll provide his link at the bottom. So if you're not subscribed to this channel or you haven't watched his videos or come upon him, please go check him out and you know look into subscribing because like I said, he does some good hat reviews on his channel. Let's get on to today's hat review. So the hat that we're gonna be reviewing today is the Cincinnati Reds. Look at that thing. Um the Cincinnati Reds, I mean, okay, let's first talk about the hat before I talk a little bit about my opinion of the Cincinnati Reds in a whole. They do have a nice black uh, crown right here. They got a nice red button right in the middle. Nice red logo of the Reds, and then some white outlining coming in the C, and then outside of the C, and then they got the red bill to match, so the red bill's nicely done. It matches the C and the button. Now, this is an older hat, as you can tell, um, because it doesn't have the New Era flag that's on the hats. They started doing that a couple years ago, where they started putting the New Era flag on the side. So, I've obviously have had this hat for a while. Hey, look, no stickers! They all come off! And, like, there's no impression of any stickers either. So, like I said earlier in my sticker removal video, and you haven't seen that video, please subscribe to my channel, hit your notifications, and then go check out that video. Anyway, so the stickers did come off, or 
T-Ball took them off. I'm really not sure. Eventually they all come off and that's okay. And then in the back, you have a nice little black and red Major League guy with the white uh, outlining on the logo itself. And of course, underneath you got a black and black sweatband and underneath Bill. So it's a very nice hat. I, I'm going to be honest with you though. I don't wear this hat that often. This is uh, seven and a half. Um, I just don't wear this hat that often because, yeah, it's a tight fit right now because it is a seven and a half. Other than the Dodgers, I would have to say the Reds are probably my second least favorite team in baseball. But there's a little caveat about the Reds is because... Growing up, I was born in 81. So I got into baseball, or I started getting interested in baseball around 86, 87. And at that time, the Giants weren't really on TV that much. And if you could watch them on TV, you had to pay for a special channel um, called like Sports Channel or Sports Central. I forget what it is, but we never uh, paid for that channel. So I never watched a lot of Giants games. But at that time in the 80s, the A's were the up and coming team. They had players like McGuire, Canseco, Dave Stewart, Terry Steinbach, uh, Bob Welsh, Dave Henderson, uh, Ricky Henderson. So, you know, I could go on and on about the A's. But anyways, they were a winning team. They went to the World Series in 88. They went to the World Series in 89. Then they went to the World Series in 90. Well, obviously, uh, they lost in the 88 against the Dodgers. They won in 89 against the Giants. And that was that earthquake uh, World Series. Well, 1990, guess who they were playing? The Reds. And that series is that is one where you know Jose Rio was dominating as a pitcher and Eric Davis uh, came in from left field if I remember right to try to catch a fly ball he had to dive he rolled over and like crushed his ribs I believe if my memory serves me but I fondly remember that play um, and the A's got swept in a four game series in the World Series and they were the clear favorites to win uh, that World Series. So ever since that time, I'm kind of like, I haven't really been high on the Reds. And then the Reds, to me, just haven't really had any players that I've had to really go watch. Like I do other teams. Like, you know, I'll watch Kansas City games. I'll watch Seattle games. I'll watch the Mets or the Yankees or the Marlins when they were a little bit better. The Braves. Um, so they just never really had anybody on their particular teams that I had to go watch especially nowadays having you know the baseball channels where i can watch all the games or you know at night if the giants play in the daytime like they did yesterday i could go watch a milwaukee brewers game but the reds have just never really had anybody even when they got ken griffey jr it just didn't feel right because he came from seattle went to cincinnati and i know he was uh, like a homegrown uh player in a sense for cincinnati so it was like a homecoming to him and i believe his dad was managing at the time as well for the Reds but it was just never the same now the only thing that drew me to the Reds per se as a kid is that growing up I wore glasses well they had this player his name was Chris Sabo and he was like the first player that I remember seeing obviously he wasn't the first player but that I remember seeing that wore sports glasses and growing up I had to wear sports glasses and I was always kind of embarrassed about it. and when I saw him playing in the major leagues wearing these sports glasses I'm like this guy's awesome. If he could do it, why can't I do it? Obviously, it worked out better for him than it did for me. But, you know, it's just how it goes. I wasn't a very good hitter. I was a good fielder and whatnot. Um, I had a strong arm. I just couldn't really hit the ball because I couldn't see the ball. But, you know, that's how it is. So, anyways, uh, Chris Sabo didn't have a long career. He had about an eight-year career. Uh, he was about a 265 hitter, so nothing special. But the way that he played the game with, with this gritty outwardness it's just you know that's the kind of player uh that you liked he kind of remind you of the pete rose the new era pete rose and so pete rose actually nicknamed him spud because a little protege of pete rose so i've never really been big into the reds other than chris sabo yes they had jose rio here and back in the day they had johnny bench but that was of course before my time they had barry larkin eric davis it's just they just never really excited me because back when I first started watching baseball, it was just always the A's. But the A's are the reason why I'm a Giants fan now. As you can see, I got the Giants tattoo, so you can't say I'm not. And 
I watch a lot of different players. And the A's are the reason why I did that, because they just kept always getting rid of their players. They always talk about the future, but yet the future never comes. Even like this year, they're doing really good, but I almost feel like I can't get excited for the A's. Because tell me, who's on the A's? Can you name anybody? Uh, yeah. That's what I thought. So the A's are the reason why I'm a Giants fan and then I'm a baseball fan. So I guess I got to think the A's for that because, you know, I never really was interested in other teams or other players until the A's started doing what they did, you know, trading McGuire to St. Louis. And I had to get interested in the Cardinals and watch the Cardinals game to Steve McGuire because, like, I liked him with the A's. Why am I not going to like him with the Cardinals? He's still the same player. Same with Kaseko. I like Kaseko. Then he goes to Rangers. I had to follow a little bit of the Rangers. Ricky Henderson has been on every team in Major League. Dave Henderson, Terry Steinbach, Mike Bordick. Lance Blank and ship and, and so on. I just, so I had to start watching other teams. And so I got more uh, in depth with other teams' rosters and I started liking other players. So that's kind of how everything started for me to liking other teams. That's why, like, whenever I wear a different shirt or anything, I don't feel embarrassed to say, yeah, I'm wearing this shirt, but I'm still a Giants fan, but I still kind of like the team. They still have some good players and I still go watch those teams. You know, on occasion, watching it on the TV, and I go to the ballpark, so it's like, you know, ultimately I'm a baseball fan, and that's what I tell people. First, Giants, A's is my American League team, unless the Giants play in the A's, and I always go for the Giants, of course, and then ultimately I'm a baseball fan. So to finish up the Reds review, this is a nice hat. I don't wear it that much. Um... It's a basic hat, so if you're into the Reds, I'd go get this hat. Eventually, I want to get the, probably it's the spring training hat, where they have uh, Mr. Red stock in the Reds mascot on the front. I think that would be a better hat to get, and it's a little more entertaining. And they just, honestly, the Reds just got a cool looking mascot uh, logo on their hat. Usually, I see those hats around spring training time, so we'll see if the 2019 spring training hats are a little bit better. I want to pick up the Reds hat with the Mr. Red Stocking logo on it instead because I think that's a better hat. I'm not a big fan of wool covered red hats so I'd like to see if I could get it similar to this or maybe all black with the logo. We'll see because if I remember right the times that I've seen them they've been all red with the logo. Sometimes they'll do uh, like a three panel where it'd be red, white, and red. So I like to pick that hat. We'll check out the 2019 spring training hats and, and go from there. So I hope you liked today's hat review on the Cincinnati Reds. Thank you again to Sean Stay Fitted Reviews for the earbuds. I'll put his link down in the description. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification button. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I appreciate that. And if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you can do that at MLHats5950. I'll provide the link at the bottom. If you want to send me any fan mail as well, I'd appreciate it. I'll provide the P.O. box at the end of this video. And, of course, if you want to help support the channel, you can go hit up my Patreon page and look at it and consider supporting the channel. And I'll provide that link at the bottom as well. All right. Thank you for watching. Major League Hats out. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See ya.